Hey, Living Environment fans and friends from around the world and Peru, New York, and across the galaxy. It's time for Wednesday Bell Ringer. This Wednesday, we don't have a book talk because your next reading assignment I already gave to you, but our first book talk, you need time to read the, that chapter of that book. In fact, we're going to start reading the, that together today in class after we learn a little bit today about um, more viral infections. In fact, the one we're going to talk about today is pretty notorious and a pretty sinister virus. We know it as HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. So let's do today's spell ringer. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn a ton. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. HIV is a virus, and it's the virus that's known to cause a syndrome called AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So HIV is the infection, the virus that causes the infection. Once the infection reaches a certain point, you have AIDS and you, um, well, that's usually a death sentence, usually. Uh, HIV is most commonly uh, caught through uh, sexual intercourse, through it's a sexually transmitted disease. And so um, that's another reason to, again, uh, you've taken health class and I don't need to go through all of this, but, um, Yes, STDs are varied and there's many of them. There's some bacterial infections, some viral infections. Uh, HIV is probably the most insidious of all of them, all right? So that's why it's important to be careful, protect yourself, know your partners and know, you know, your history and those kinds of things. Cause you know, why, why, why not? Here's the cartoon virus of the, or cartoon of the HIV virus. It's, it's like pretty much every other virus, I mean, it's got some nucleic acid in the inside of it, right? It's surrounded by this kind of protein coat. And then around it actually is some cell membrane with little spikes sticking off of it. Those spikes are antigens, right? Antigens. Right? And HIV is much like other viruses. They look to bind to the surface of cells, right? And then because they have the right antigen, they can let themselves into the cell. And then the cell will kind of stop doing what it normally does and instead make copies of the virus and then shoot those copies out. All viruses kind of work the same way, right? They invade a cell, they take over the machinery of the cell, um, the cell winds up making copies of the virus and then those virus particles get shipped out, right? Sometimes it happens really quickly. Like Ebola is a great example of this happens in a matter of just hours and cells are totally filled with virus and they, they lice or they explode. Okay. HIV is interesting. HIV is a little slow. We call it a latent virus. Latent virus. It works more slowly than that. So you get an infection, you just start making copies of virus a little bit at a time, not all at once. So people can have HIV infections for years before they develop uh, AIDS. Right? There's a typical HIV infection is that it binds to the surface of the cell and then dumps its genetic material into the cell. The genetic material incorporates itself with that cell and causes the cell to make copies of the virus and the virus is butted off out into the, to go infect more cells. What makes HIV so insidious are the cells that it infects. HIVs are specific to certain white blood cells. So here's a blood smear with, you can see the red cells, the little reds, hey everybody. And then the white blood cells obviously stain differently. This has been stained different. They've been stained, so you can see it's got lots of genetic material. These are uh, lymphocytes, and these are white blood cells, and that's what AIDS targets. In particular, it targets um, T cells. And um, the type of T cell it targets are the ones, well, that are really important in developing secondary immunity, okay? There are certain T cells we call helper T cells, right? Like you get an infection, a macrophage eats, goes ahead and eat, here's a macrophage, eats all those infections. And then we'll 
go to a helper T cell and give it the antigens. And then the helper T cell takes those antigens and shares it with other T cells, right? With other, with other T cells and with B cells. And um, B cells then make antibodies. And then the helper T cells can show how the other T cells can become killer T cells. And that's your immune. Now you're immune when you have all of these, right? Well, what happens in HIV infection is these cells here are killed. So you get an infection and you don't make any antibodies. You get an infection, you don't make any killer cells, right? That's, right? So yeah, it's, it's insidious. It's very insidious, right? It's, it basically destroys a person's immune system. HIV is the virus. Once your immune system gets weakened, and it can take years and years and years to weaken, um, you then are, have AIDS. AIDS is a condition. And then you're gonna die. You're gonna die, um, you don't really die of AIDS, you don't die of HIV, you usually die of some other infection. But because of HIV, you can't fight that infection. Right, so you usually die of like a pneumonia or something like that. Yeah, HIV, it's an insidious virus. It works the same as other viruses. It enters cells, it takes over the cells, what makes HIV different is that it attacks the same cells that are supposed to protect you from viruses. Yeah.